Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our RTR Imperium Serectum campaign as Sparta. And we are doing pretty well, I'd say. We're doing pretty well. We've got plenty of armies on the move. Uh, last time we defended against the damn Romans, uh, both Tarentum and Kona, and suggested it was it Tarentum as well? Can't quite remember. But... Basically, we shredded them at Ancona. I definitely remember that. We absolutely ruined them. So if they want to keep on coming, absolutely fine. Could do with a little bit of a retrain on this army. Uh, especially the cavalry. But the Ancona, uh, the Tarentum army is absolutely fine. There's loads of troops in there. They do not need retraining. Um, this army is on the way to go and try and take Batavium. Which is a large city as well. Which will be pretty good fun. First things first though guys, I thought we've not had a look at the lists for a little while. So let's have a look through our faction. We are on episode 22 I believe now. So we do rank number one, third militarily. So we're actually not the strongest militarily. Strongest on production, strongest on territorial, third on financial now and first on population. We've won 106 battles and lost 18. I think that's a pretty good ratio. Um, regions controlled 39 at the minute, family members 61, that's quite a lot. So let's have a look at the, uh, the top five fra factions. Uh, we could go for neighboring, let's go for top five. And we have just overtaken the Seleucids it looks like. Let's add in a few that are nearby to us. So, no, not the Getai. Let's have a look, where are the Germanians? Are they on there already? Yeah, they are. Germanians are on there. Are the Romans on there? No, the Romans are not currently. They have taken a big drop after fighting with us. So, let's go with that. Now, military ranking. We're second now, it looks like. Just below the Seleucids. The Ptolemies have actually dropped off a lot. Romans have been dropping since we've been fighting them. Good. Germanians are still going up. And Carthage is going up as well. Decent. Production, we're just way ahead of everyone else, which is great. Territorially. Seleucids are going down, Ptolemies are going up, Rome's going down, of course, because we've taken it off them. The Germanians actually don't have that much territory, looking at it. Uh, Ptolemies still going up slightly, but it looks like they've hit a bit of a rough spot. I don't know who they're at war with, but it's definitely, definitely not helped them. So, here we are financially, we, we are coming down, coming down quite severely. Um, and that is probably because of the massive amount of troops that we are supporting right now. And there's our population just absolutely steaming upwards, which is great. Fantastic. So we're looking good. We're looking good, guys. We're looking really good indeed. We've got another army ready to go at Pella as soon as possible. Plenty of troops ready. They just need a bit of a retraining. I've got these guys to join in. Good. Got those guys going. We also noticed that at Ayada we have a quite a few troops that we probably don't need in there anymore. So I'm going to send them up to Aquincum. Because Suggestica's got a decent enough garrison. Aquincum's garrison is not brilliant. You can also retrain these boys. So let's do that. Just to try and defend against these Germanians. Over here we can see the Germanians are coming. If they want to attack me on this river, that would be absolutely unbelievably good. I would be so thankful to that. That would be amazing. Now, over in Ancona, that army does, does need a retrain. But we're fine for now. I, I'm pretty confident we can defend against pretty much anything the Romans throw at us with those armies. Um, now, it's going out and attacking them. Now, that is the uh, that is the question. And what I'm going to do with this second army at Pella is drop it off at Croton. So, we have two armies in the south. And we can kind of... Um, Go one and the other. Uh, well, that, that doesn't make sense. What am I saying? So we can go, uh, we can alternate them, basically. So once we've taken Croton, this one can leave Tarentum and go for an army. This one can stay in Croton for a little bit. Once this one's taken the next settlement, this one comes out and goes for the next one. So we alternate them and we move up in a methodical way. If we can get these guys down to Patavium, that would be amazing. The Romans, honestly, are not that strong right now. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. They have the best troops in the game by far. By far. Well, at least in this area anyway. 
at least in the hands of the AI, I would say the Romans have the best troops in the game because, you know, when we're talking cataphracts and horse archers, like Parthia, for example, the AI isn't brilliant at using them or good at recruiting armies full of them. I have noticed in the mod they are a lot better. But I still trust the AI to use a Roman army more effectively than they would a horse archer army. So, I would say that the uh, that they are the best, in the best hands, the AI's got the best chance with the Romans out of any nation. And they're, just, they're not doing great. They're getting pushed back by Carthage. Come on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. You know you need to fight. You need to attack. Take Regium back, because I want to take Regium. That would be a, that. That would be the best thing for us if you took Regium back. But I think we're at the end of the turn, guys. Sorry, I've been waffling for a little while. I've also kind of noticed with Adrissia, unless these guys, okay, these guys do have a faction heir in there. I was gonna say if we take this, we might regicide them, but not with this army out there. And this, because this one doesn't have anyone inside. That's absolutely fine, though. Right, guys, let's end the turn. Yep, lots of people moving. Cool. Move, move, move. So, yeah, we, we are doing pretty well, guys. I'm pretty happy with our progress. The glorious Spartan Empire. Glorious. Um, Once we've beaten Rome, though. Okay, yep, attack Tarentum. That's fantastic. We will do exactly the same thing again. Oh, lovely. Oh, I just love... I just love you, Romans. I love you. This is very, very different to the Carthaginian campaign where we do not love the Romans, whatever. We absolutely hate them because they have been an absolute horrendous foe to fight as the Carthaginians. But as uh, as the Spartans, they have been a joy, honestly, so far. Touch wood, touch wood. We're going to get destroyed by them now, aren't we? Now I've said that. Right, Corinth upgrades. That's good. That's really good. Another huge city for us. Swebi and I senior at war. That's good for us because the Swebi are encroaching on our lands. Let's do our construction first, guys. Now, over here, what do we want? I mean, nothing is really that important. We do have a governor who's 16, so I will get the academy. That'll help him out. Corinth, we're building that. Apollonia. Apollonia. You don't have a governor, do you? Go for Dionysus. It's a large city. Let's go for the Odeon. Let's make sure we're keeping these guys happy. Especially when they become a large city and get all that squalor. Um, hmm. Let's go for Thessalonica. Let's see whether we can upgrade Thessalonica's military capability. Because it has army barracks in the Hippodrome. We just don't have the, uh, the right culture building yet. Philippopolis. Great Agora. Armour, awesome Temple of Dionysus. Hmm. Well, Philippopolis is a large city. If we get the armour, it might be a better option than Bylazora. What's that temple though? Oh, it's Dionysus. Well, we can change that. That's fine. Nysus is upgrading. Good. Salona. Let's have a look. Let's go for that irrigation. Sarmizegetuza. Let's go for that so we can... Um, convert it because it's still not converting I believe yeah still a little bit behind so let's keep on building Thomas is upgrading that's pretty cool uh, Singwidunum Singwidunum what do we want over here oh we have actually culture converted this place let's go for the baths then Arkadava oh Arkadava is unhappy Quite severely unhappy, actually. Go for Hera or the Aqueducts. Five turns for the Aqueduct, though. So we can get an extra 5% in one turn. Let's go for that. Suggestica. Let us build some paved roads. We can move a bit faster around these areas. Byzantium. I think it's time... I think... I think it's time to try and convert Byzantium. Nope. First things first. Let's go for the Odeon. It's really, really hammer down. Let's go for the paved roads at Pyridava. And then Ancona. Yeah, Ancona's getting stone walls. So that's going to be 
An absolute bastard to try and take. Once they once they try and take it. So you are coming back to Pellet. And guys, there is one thing that we want to do. For many years, Sparta, guys, has been our capital. It has been the glorious capital of our empire. But now, we have been called upon by the gods. We have been called upon by the gods. We have expanded Greek interests to places that they haven't been seen for many years. Like Tarentum and Ancona. And in the north, beating back the barbarians. So it is our right, guys. It is our right, indeed. It is our right, completely, that we shall make Alexander's capital ours as well. So, guys, we're going to make Alexander's capital our capital, Pella. I mean, so, in terms of the gameplay, it's a better place for the capital because it's more central. If we look at Sparta, pretty much all our lands are north of Sparta. And when we go to Pella, all our lands are to the east, to, to the west when we take Rome. We've got some to the north and some to the south. And we still have like no corruption down here, which will be excellent, all our rich territories. But we're just closer to a lot of these, so we'll make them happier. Also closer to Rome, which is brilliant. Um, but in terms of the thematics, I think it works as well. I didn't want to do it if, if thematically it didn't work. Um... So I've forgotten where where do we press it on the new on the new game? <laughs> oh here it is, yeah. So Pella is now our capital. And that should instantly let's do this. Should instantly make a, these places a little bit happier, as you can see. How about Sparta down here? Let's see whether we do get corruption here. Yeah, no corruption still in the southern part of Greece. What about roads? Roads might a little bit. But the roads is just so rich. Look at that, guys. 2,300 from trade. That is excellent. Let's just check we're building everywhere. Everywhere we can anyway. Yes, we are. Fantastic. Fantastic. And a lot of those places are Greek, which really makes me happy. Very happy to see that. So, let's uh, get this army together. I'm going to be led by young... Kellyas, who is our faction heir, who's already got five, and I've had a look, already got five command and six influence, and he's 26, which is amazing, and I've had a look through, bloody, plus one morale, look at this, so one morale from there, let's keep going, let's have a look, he's got two to the general's hit points, which is normal, but good, two morale, so plus three morale, oh, that's for in friendly territory, so that doesn't really, doesn't really apply, um, He's got minus one morale for being a pessimist. So, and plus two. So he has overall plus two morale, which is which is really good. And then any of these guys, no. So we're going to use him. Plus two morale is, is excellent. So let's uh, get the archers in there. Can't wait until Bylazora becomes a uh, an actual huge city. And let's use the good guys first. So some of those. Are there any good guys here? Yes, there are. Fantastic. So one, two, three, four, five. So we need three more. Ideally, more experienced ones. Two. And we will take we will take the Litho Bolite. I think I was a little bit harsh on the artillery last time. Um a little bit. Now actually, get rid of you. And then we'll use the rest. Look at all this lovely experience on the cavalry. Oh, not enough. Four. We got five. Excellent. Five cavalry. You can stay in Bylazora, my friend. Right. Well, you're coming across to go and take Croton. Let's get you over there. Okay. If you don't want to go there, that's fine. But just come on. There we are. Better. Better, better, better. Make sure you're going to Pella for your retraining. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Everything is good. 
Everything is awesome. I'm still... Oh, they, they have attacked once, look. These guys are hugely reduced. I kind of want them to become our protectorate. Can I get an, uh, a diplomat over here, please? I think I've got one, but it's over there. Yeah, he's there. Are you sure you don't want an alliance, Bosporans? We see no benefit to us. 100 relationship as well. Our reputation's come back up as well to 80. So we're not too bad. I think in the east we're fine. I'm not too bothered about what's going on over here. We're pretty decent. Once we've taken Myelotonum, we do have some good, nice defense over this way called the river, which we can only cross there, there, and up there. So we will start building a few forts over here and fill them with mercenaries just to stop anyone who wants to try and attack us. And then we should do the same up here. So I should send a general up there when I get the chance. But at the minute, there's not much of a chance. Uh, let's get you into there. See whether you can make it happy. Good. Samizagatuza. Still not converting to Greek. Even though Darkadava is now Greek. <laughs> Mad. Aquincum is Greek. Suggestica is. There's very few settlements that are not Greek. And then pro predominantly around Odrysia. Right, anyway, I've been a bit slow today with the start, haven't I, guys? We've been going over lots of campaign management stuff. But as I say, most people prefer the campaign management stuff. So if you're one of the people who likes the uh, the battles, of course the battles are down in the, uh, in the uh, as chapters below. So you'll be able to see all them. If there are any battles today, and there might even not be any battles. We might do a whole hour of just campaign management. That is, that is heaven to me, guys. Are they... Okay. Duva the Langobard. What a name. What a man. And what a name. I think we stand and fight, guys. We have Protus. Protus looking like an absolute chad of a man. We do have Vibius Claudius Caicus. He's the one that's in the city, right? These guys... I mean, these guys are nothing to worry about. They've got no general. They've got equites. Got a nice bit of experience on this Spartan cavalry. Very nice. Some good experience on these guys as well. Three, three of them. Silver on Protus. That's pretty nice. I'm honestly... I know I should be more scared of the Romans, but I'm more scared of this Germanic army. Freeman 100. So they're the better Freeman, basically. They can do a Skeletron. He hasn't got much cavalry, though. Yep, no. Oh, we're going to run riot with our cavalry. Okay, they're coming from in, from behind us. Remember, if we, if we kill enough of them, we will take the city. With the Germanic army, all we need to do is just beat them back. Um, we don't need to chase them down. However, the Romans... Now, that's really where we need to worry. I feel like we go to the right. The far right. And wait for all that. We are defending, mind you. And what are Phalanxes best at? They are best at defending, right? So, anyway, guys. I'll see you on the battle map. Today Here we are. Oh, it's darkness. The they chose a night battle. At least it looks quite ambiently nice. They will in a this I to you. Come on, we're in northern Italy. Okay, yeah, nice. It's it's been a nice uh, North Italian scrubland, I guess. Scrubland, if you want to say that. I mean, I do want to say it. Oh God, I hope they don't come in in this corner. Well, actually, that that's a lie. It would be quite good if they did. Let's keep these guys on flaming shot, just so I can see where they're firing in the darkness. And that's it. We're ready to go, aren't we? We've got to see where they're coming in. Okay, they are coming in directly to our left. So what I'm going to do... Where's the edge of the map? Let's... Uh, go, 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 boys. Go. And cavalry. If that's their cavalry. If they want to charge their cavalry in straight away. Go. I'm actually... What? Why have half of them not moved? 
Go, 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 go. Go, cavalry, go. Not too bothered about those Romans. They're so far away. So where are we in Freeman Cavalry? Where are our archers? So get them behind. Uh, everyone now in phalanx mode. Good, good. This is brilliant. It's good to see once again. The phalanxes will not fall, my boys. The phalanxes will not fall. They're just going to try and break through the phalanx. Okay, these guys are actually taking a bit of a beating. That phalanx is not the greatest formation I've ever seen of a phalanx. Let's get the cavalry over that side. Okay, we are doing some damage to our own troops there with the archers. So, for now, what I want you to do is come over here so you can fire at them when they get close. What is this? There he is. Duva the Langobard. Framian Swords. The rest of these boys doing? Can they get 87? Oh, they must have been getting shot by these guys. Ah, poor guys. Oh, yeah, they don't have the armor upgrade, do they? Oh, well, that's uh, slightly unfortunate for them. Let's come around then. I've got so many. They've got so many men in the back here. Let's get our cavalry going. And what I'm going to do is actually do this. And uh, get the archers there. Okay, if you want to do this, my friend, have at it. You're going to run away. You guys get out and charge them in the rear. Kill that Tribunus Militum. He's going to die now. Good. How are we doing down here? Looks like we're doing pretty well. These guys are struggling. Same as these guys. Okay, that's one of the generals dead. Why are you struggling so much? Still. What's this? Kill that Freeman cavalry. I hate them. Missile cavalry is the worst. God damn. I just can't wait for the, the Germans to get into the battle. And then like all of them to get in. And then we can kill them all. Well, you guys, I would ideally not like you to fire right now. Let's stop firing. Okay, we killed them. These. See, the Freeman 100 are, are spearmen, right? I think we can just go through them, though. They're not, they don't want to get into the battle. Let's go, go through them. We need to kill their general, and then these guys will all break. Oh, God. That is, that has broken them to pieces. Fantastic. Look at that. Oh, baby. How are they only still shaking? Oh, get out now, boys. Get out now. Let's go. They've got their equites. We'll kill those equites quite nicely. If we can get over here first. Once that general's dead, we should be fine. Oh, my God. They are really breaking through over here. We need to charge that blob. Kill these equites first, and then we'll come around this way and charge these guys. Our left flank is going to fail. Oh, Protus. Let's get him. Let's get that general. Oh, come on, boys. We need to kill the equites. Killed quite a few. Come on, Protus. This is it. Kill him. Kill him. He's there. He's stuck. Kill them. Kill them all. Ah, oh, he's going to throw his jabbies now. But he will kill some of his own troops. Come on. Kill this guy. Come on, guys. These guys have taken an absolute battering. Where are you, by the way? Okay, you're fighting there. That's fine. Okay. That's the equites. Now out, boys. Out. Go, 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 go. Go. And then we need to charge this big blob back here. And I'm sure we'll do well against that blob. Let's go. Let's go, boys. All over here first. 
Now let's charge this blob. Where? How is his general not dead yet, though? Come on! It's just him left! Uh, guys. Guys! <laughs> yes, there we are. Now we should break them. Yes! Come on, boys. Oh, no, that's ours. That's our phalangite broken. We need to break them. Come on, your general is dead. Your general is dead, my friends. Surely, how are they still steady? How are they still steady? Bro. Let's get Protus around. Ah, oh, one of our one of our goddamn cavalry is has, has run away. Oh how annoying. Let's kill them. God, these Germans are f turning out to be harder than I thought. Oh, two of the cavalry have run away. Are you joking me? You've still got 43 in there, you imbeciles. Oh, what idiots, man. They've completely run away now as well. Right, let's get our general in there. Let's hope he doesn't die. That's that Equites. And then we're going to charge him. Oh, what is this? There's not many of you left, is there? Uh, oh my god, that's absolutely ravaged them, surely. What? They did, two of them died in that charge, did they? Should be more than that, surely. Oh, our cavalry is so weak. God damn it. They're awful. They're so poor. Do you know what I want you to do, guys? Is fire at these guys. How the hell they got behind our lines? I do not know. Right, you four. Oh, we need to come and save the general. That our cavalry. Ah, oh, this is this is horrible. Right, you guys, let's go. We need to come and save our general. Go, 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 go. Otherwise, he will die. Let's charge the back of these goddamn Prinkapes. Not that that's going to work. Let's go, go, go. Go. Get in there. Save him. Phalanx now. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's routing. God damn it, bro. Oh, this is horrible. These German troops are, are tough, bro. They're really tough. Is that the cavalry both gone? No. Get out. Okay. Oh, for God's sake. Stop firing there. Come over this way. I can't believe our generals ran away. Protus, how could you do us like this? Oh, that cavalry's broken as well. I think we're fine. We're fine on this side. Need to come over here. We're doing better against the Romans than we are against anyone else. It's very surprising. Okay, we broke. We broke one unit, which is good. We need to kill all these Romans, honestly. Kill them. Go on. Ah, oh, nice. That's good. Squish them. Go and kill them. Right, you guys. Emergency stations now, boys. It's emergency stations now. Oh, this poor unit. Getting shredded. This unit as well. Ah, oh, these goddamn Germanians, bro. They're something else. What are they doing? What are you doing? Let's go, let's go. Get you up here. Think we can still win. Just need to break these Romans. These sh the guys are shaken already. God. 
What? Some serious damage to this army. Yeah, that's better. Fire over there. Not really doing any damage though, are you? Yeah, we're doing good over this side. Oh, God. I can't believe they broke my flank. They broke through the phalanx again. Why do they keep breaking through the phalanx? Should not happen. Go, 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 go. And it was my elite phalanx troops as well. That was a problem. Right, cavalry. Let's get rid of these guys. Still in our favor now. The battle slightly. Uh, our cavalry was just awful. Awful is this round. We've got to remember that it is absolutely trash, this cavalry. Like, it is awful. Even with the experience. Ah! Uh, fuck off! Stop flanking me! You fucking twats. Oh my god. Cavalry's gone as well. Get there. Ah! Uh, these idiots, man. Idiots! Get them. Go. Go. Oh, they've come back as well. I think we lose, guys. I think we're going to lose. Oh, the, the, that's, the, that's them gone. I think we've lost. I don't think we win this. Unless we can break this side instantly now. We're obviously breaking a lot more now because of our general's gone. At least he survived. Oh, god damn. Who would have known? Like the Germans, we hardly killed any of them. Any, like none of them. Like they're all... <laughs> they broke through our phalanx. Oh, god damn it, bro. How embarrassing. Ah. Oh. I think we I think we fight to the end though. I want to just do as much damage as I can to these fools. They're gone. You fire at whoever you want. Fine. You guys okay, at least you guys are doing okay. Turn around. Ah. Ah. God damn it! Just you guys then. I'm land you. Yeah, you're obviously gonna rout. Come on, rout! Oh. God damn it! The Spartan Cavalry, some of them still did quite a few casualties. It's these Phalangites did as well, but these ones, like 31. That's just not acceptable. That is just not acceptable for you to do 31 and take 112. That's awful. You've got to kill more than you... Like, these ones equal. That's terrible as well. These guys... Oh, my days. That is awful. Look at them. Look. Look how bad they did. This is the first time they've done bad. I feel betrayed, honestly. <laughs> like, why have you done so badly? Look at the Germans. Look at the Germans. Look at all their stats. This Freeman 100, 181 against Phalangites. Ah. Oh. Well, anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are. We didn't retreat far, did we? Jesus. Oh, God. Okay, Rebels. Whatever you want to do. We are on a river. So. Okay, looks like the Getai are dead. That's interesting. Looks like the, the Syraki's killed them. Um, Interesting. Looks like they are dead. Anyway, I'll see you on the battle map, guys. Here we are. To test themselves, yep, yeah, we know. So we will put a little contingent over this side, just in case. Uh, but the predominant 
people are going to be over here. So it was you three, wasn't it? Alright, these guys, you're coming forward. You're going to fill the gaps. You damaged ones, back here. Ecopolis here. And then the archers, either side ideally. Those small units can plug any gaps. Uh, and then cavalry. So I think in future with the phalanxes, what we'll do, guys, is... Obviously not for this, but if we've got a line set, like a line set up, we will have two in reserve that can plug any gaps. That was the problem on that last battle. They came around the side and completely just turned our flank. So if we've got some in reserve, we can go and fill those gaps rather than, you know, get completely screwed when we, uh, when we end up actually uh, fighting. So, I'm thinking they'll come forward. Okay, Lithobolite. Yes, you do the work. Let's go. As long as you don't hit my own troops, I'm happy. You guys should even be a bit more like that, I think. That would be good. Get there. Yes, come on. Yes! What? What? How did that not kill anyone? Landed right in the middle of them. I'm hoping they can't swim. Oh, come on, Lithobolite. Fire at the Royal Bodyguards. Guys, are you firing or what? The horse archers that are doing damage here. Fire at them. You guys. Fire at those archers. Okay. It's killed a couple of horses. Not many. But a couple. Okay. Now they're coming across the river. Oh my god. Look at them all coming across the river, bro. Get there. You guys, let's get you, uh, like, here. Still a lot coming through the middle as well. You fire back there now. Oh, he's already fleeing. What embarrassing for him. Look at them all f swimming across. Come on, charge my boys, charge us. They just want to throw their jabbies. Charge, come on. Uh, we might use you over this side as well. Keep firing, boys, keep firing. Fire onto that bridge. Fire on the bridge. I hate the amount of missiles they have. Why do you have so many missiles? These poor guys are taking a battering. I wish we had some jabbies, bro. I could, I could train jabbies. <laughs> but I'm not that desperate yet. Fill that gap, boys. Fill that gap. Ah. Yeah, we seem to do a lot worse against uh, foes with a lot of missiles, really. That's our kind of weakness. Like the Romans are fine. Those Germans were really tough, though. Tougher than what I expected. Okay. They're just Peltasts. Oh, yeah, we've got you guys. Well, let's... Uh, let's uh, get one of you here. Let's get you guys up this way. Let's go and try and cut them off. Cavalry round this way as well. Now Phalanx, boys. Phalanx. Oh, no. Just taking an absolute battering. What? How are they How are they killing so many of us? What the fuck is that about? They just ran through. They didn't fucking actually kill us. Oh, my God. Bro. 
Charge these fucking c ah! Nearly said a bad word. Right, boys. Have you routed these guys yet? No. How not? God damn it, bro. How are they? Why are they just staying there? Well, we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to chase them down. We just need to route them all. Right now, back into these guys. Ah, oh, god damn it! This unit got shredded. Ah, oh, god damn it! See, phalanxes are so strong, but when they go wrong, they go really, really wrong. Like they just completely collapse from within. I guess that's how the uh, how the Romans were able to beat them so much with their maneuverability. Because they just went wrong. They just go wrong when you can't maneuver them into the right position. When they're not in the right position, they're completely flanked and screwed. Absolutely screwed. How is this guy not routing? Fucking hell, bro. Let's go. Go. Kill these fools. Kill them all. Get around that way. Oh. Bro. Are they withdrawing? They can't be. They're rebels. Get across this side. Just these guys, I think. How are these guys... They absolutely battered my phalanx. And they still refuse to goddamn leave. Speed this up. There we are. Good. Now let's go. Who's... Oh, they come back. Classic. Classic. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to chase these fucking bastards down. I'm going to have to get ahead of them. Right, there we are. Oh, my God. So much more painful than it should have been. So much more. Oh, every battle today. Oh, God damn it. Anyway, I will see you on the campaign map, guys. Okay, well, at least we won. Uh, 39, no, we won't take you. Faction destroyed the Getai. Tarentum's besieged. Okay, cool. Everything. Okay, we're now back to being the richest faction. Good, that's probably because of the amount of battering our armies have taken. Let's do our building first, and let's sort our armies out. Sparta... Go for that so we can get some generals. Let's go for Athens. What should we get? Royal Barracks. I don't think the Royal Barracks gives us anything extra. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can't... I don't think it gives us anything extra, unfortunately. So, no point building that. Let's just build the baths. Uh, Chalkis, let's go for the Lyceum, Skodra, what do we want here, hmm, public baths I think, Arkidava, let's go for that, Shrine to Ares, get another 5%, then Tyras, let's go for the paved roads over here, cool, 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 cool. Mm. So, you getting on that boat. 
dropped off at Croton. And you're going to siege it down. That's what we want. You come over here. You guys, 100% going back to Pellet. And then let's have a look, a look at the damage on a couple of the other armies. Okay, we lost a full archer unit. It's fine. Also, all of you guys should be going to Bailazora for training as well. You. Oh, God. We can't get anywhere, really. I was hoping we could get all the way back to uh, a settlement so we're safe. Yeah, they can't catch us up. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Now, you guys... The Syrakis are kind of a bit dead. This is a full, nice army. It's a Celtic army inside. All right, you guys now. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. You're going back to Pella as well. So, so are you. So, we've got three armies out of action at the minute. Luckily, we've got one more coming in. God, those Germans, bro. They were so tough. So strong. A lot stronger than I was expecting. Maybe we should start planning out defending against them. Do we have a general nearby that's that's not like you? We have you, Demetor. Okay, it's still happy there, so... Let us start blocking off some of these choke points. We've got a river there. So where's best? I mean, a Quincum blocks that choke point. Hmm. Actually quite tough to find good places to put, put uh, forts. There's another river here. I mean, there are a lot of rivers... So it's probably best around the rivers, but obviously that leaves a Quincum kind of out there. Uh, that's not a huge issue, though. I mean, if we put a fort there, right? I'm thinking there. Like, let me get out of it. Yeah, it's just one tile either side, so they should get stopped by it at least. Oh, we've got no one to put into it. For now, let's just put a crypt here. And then we'll come and build another fort in... Mm, well, we don't need one near a Quincum because of that. So to get to Suggestica, you have to go all the way through that way. And we could put one there and potentially... Hmm. I mean, Suggestica and Aquincum kind of block that way quite well. So I think we leave them there. Then we'll build another one maybe up there and one in here potentially. That'll be the best way, I think. Right then, let's, uh, let's end the turn. And let's uh, see what happens. Maybe the Romans will attack us. Maybe they will. Hopefully they will at Tarentum. That'll be nice. They might even they might even leave it because I've I've uh, attacked Croton. Mm, maybe we we shall see. We shall see. Uh, Greek city states, you're alive again. Their demands twenty thousand denarii for that. Until next time. No, well I'll give you trade rights. A most generous proposal. But map for map, that's generous as well. 35,000. No, thank you. Okay, Syrakis. Oh, that's a kid that's just come of age. Oh, wait, no, it's Demeter. I don't want to deal with these horse archers, bro. Oh, we can't run away either. I think, we, I think we'll lose this. Especially with this such a damaged army. And not enough archers to deal with those horse archers, honestly. So what I think we do... Doesn't say he can't escape. So we'll do a, uh, we'll do a long, we'll do a, a long retreat if we can. 
So I'll wait until all the armies are in, and then we'll retreat them all, and we should run away a long way. Anyway, I'll see you on the camp on the battle map, guys, for our run away. <laughs> Here we are, guys. So, as I say, we're going to try and, and run. If that's an option. Might not be an option. So we might have to fight, guys. At least they're attacking us. Can't withdraw. It's going to be tough then. Horse archers are not the natural uh, natural thing to fight with the phalanx army, guys. All right, let's get all the uh, damaged ones to one side. And go with you guys as the front line. You guys can kind of be the cannon fodder for the archers. If you die, it's fine. We can replace you. You're only standard. Standard experience, not a huge amount of experience. And I'm willing to take some damage in the back of these guys. Lithoboloi. Cavalry, really, our cavalry should just hide here. Oh, this is, this is horrible. This is not ideal. Whenever you're ready, archers, you should be ready to fire as well. We'll put you on the fire because it seems to explode on the fire shot rather than just... just everything is archers for them. Is that their general? Armoured Sarmatian general. I know that's going to be a tough unit. Oh my god. Let's have a look at these guys. 36 defense, 57 charge. That's actually pretty standard general wise. You're going to fire Litho Boloy or what? Okay, you are. Oh, just missed. Try and shoot at them. How are our archers doing? Right, all of you now in phalanx mode. Of course. Armoured Sarmatian General again. Oh, they're coming for the charge. Go on, boys. Get that charge in. I love it. I love to see it. Oh, yes! Baby! Lithoboloi. Let's uh, aim at that guy now. Archers, let's get you behind now, if you can. Come on, hit it, hit it! Yes! Come on! Okay, Lithobolo actually slaps when it hits. Okay, that general's like dead now. Excellent, it's good to see. And maybe we'll, we'll stop firing for now. Right, you guys move forward. This dual line seems to work okay, actually, against these horse archers. Where's our cavalry? What I want to do now, potentially... Okay, he's tried to run through. I, I don't know why. How has he got through again? This is the annoying thing. Like, they shouldn't be able to get through a goddamn phalanx, bro. It's a phalanx. It's a phalanx for a reason. We'll probably kill him. And then what have we got over here? Got another general. Another general. Some more noble archers and just normal standard horse archers. And then I'm assuming these guys are archers. Chosen archers as well. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> That's what we want to see, isn't it? Right, get you guys out. I want you to charge at the archers. Okay, he's running now. If we can kill... Nice. If we can kill the uh, Scythians in one foul swoop, that would be amazing. So, right. You guys, let's get you back here. And you guys here. Missiles, get you away. Okay, they don't like that, the archers, do they? It looks like they have no morale, those archers. Get into them. 
Just kill as many as you can because they're going to come back. And I can't guarantee that our cavalry will exist when they come back. And there's nothing we can do against these horse archers at all. Like, we can't chase them. We will just have to take it. Just have to accept it. Apart from firing back. Now you can fire back. Fire at them. Speed it up. Come on, Litho Boloi. Yes! That's what I like to see. A couple of them getting shot at. It's fine. I just wish I had more cavalry right now. How are our archers doing? Come on, Litho Boloi. You're not doing us proud right now. Might as well get you forward. You're all dying. And I'm, I'm happy that the archers are the, the targets they've gone for. Oh, God. Now they've stopped firing. This flank is very weak. Because they have been firing at it for a considerable amount of time. They broke, they broke, they broke. Good. Got our two generals there, remember? Happy to let the archers just stand there. They're all going to die anyway. Come on, Lithoboloi. Fire away, boys. Some more horse, horse archers. <sighs> this is tough. It's been a tough old day for battles in this one, guys. Incredibly tough old day. God damn, this Lithoboloi can't hit anything. Okay, they, they routed again, but they'll come back. <sighs> it's basically, will they have enough arrows to finish us off, is the question. I think we've got to risk attacking those archers. We've still got a pretty solid phalanx left back here. Okay. Let's go after them. Uh, deal with them. We might route them straight away. They don't really have very good morale. Yeah, they generally they generally don't seem to have good morale. The base level of horse archer. So break them. Let's get these guys up here. Fight that armored summation general. Now our cavalry. Let's get you over here. Okay, they're going for the charge now, boys. These front units are just to disrupt them before they actually charge the proper line. So we will lose them. This is a very sacrificial battle right now, guys. There's <laughs> lots that... Okay, there they go. Now they're into the proper line. You guys in phalanx, because you generally letting people just through every single time. Hey, they're not in guard mode. Why are you not in guard mode? Your phalanxes. You should be in guard mode, boys. Right, now that they've uh, charged with their cavalry, we can go and charge their archers. And break them instantly like we did last time, hopefully. But we shall see. Okay, a lot of those noble archers getting cut down. Let's go after them. Let's get in there. Come on, we've got to break them, surely. Surely. Oh, wow, now our cavalry's breaking. God damn it. So our general, get in. Rally the boys. Kill this general. Okay, they've got nothing else. Okay, their general's routing. He's fighting to the death. Get you guys across here, like that. Go, 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 go. Fight those guys. Okay, they're going to kill my litho boy, fortunately. God damn. God damn. Death by a thousand cuts. God damn these idiots. So 
not kill them yet. Kill them. What are they doing? Why are they doing this? Charge. Kill them. We should be able to kill them with our spearmen. Kill enough of them so that they never come back as well. That would be ideal. Good. 15 left. I think that's enough. Right, now what are these archers doing? Are they firing at us or what? They are. Time to march forward then. Same with you guys. Let's go. You guys get after that block. We'll go. We do have cavalry. When are they going to run out? I'm going to squish them with their skirmish mode. Yep, yeah, they know what they're doing now. We know they're dead. Where's the other one? It's back there. Alright, cavalry, get out. Need you to bait these other guys now. You're going to get tired, my friend, but it's okay. It's okay. God. What a, what a terrible, terrible, terrible few battles we've had. So tough. And the battles that seemed okay on the surface. Let's get you running. We should hopefully win this now. <laughs> are you fighting? Who are you fighting? I would prefer you to fight the chosen archers. Okay, we got them, whoever they are. Just normal Sarmatian archers. Whatever. Oh, god damn. God damn! I need one of you to chase these guys. Oh. oh my god! Alright, we should sandwich these boys now. Get the phalanx. Broken now. Fight them. Fight them. Do have our generals left. So. Okay, fight them. Gonna, oh, they keep coming back! God damn it! We're just gonna lose because slowly but surely they will keep coming back. How are you? How are you losing this? They're archers! Are you fucking kidding me? How can you have lost that? Are you fucking joking? You lost against fucking archers. You are shit. You are so shit. Oh my god. Fuck me, bro. Phalanx lost against archers. We're going to have to chase them the whole way off the map. Otherwise, they will come back. I'm going to sit on top of the hill. Keep chasing them. Let's hide. Let's hide. I ain't giving them the satisfaction. They attacked me, so if they want to run the timer out, absolutely fine. Not after that. Not after my fucking phalanx got beaten by a bunch of archers. Are you kidding me? So these are the chosen archers. They have 7 morale, 11 melee attack. What do the normal ones have? 10 melee attack, 7 morale, and we lost, and 12 defense, and we lost against them. Are you kidding me? Okay, it looks like they're not going for a... Let's do a rally. These guys. Let's go. Come on. At least our generals can do something. Come on, it's generals versus their archers now. We've, we, if we lose this, I will be fuming. I was fuming already, but I will be even more fuming. Oh my god. No, it's not! 
It's not a day of glorious victory. It's an embarrassment. Oh, God. What a horrible, horrible episode, guys. I'm so sorry. Terrible, terrible battles. Anyway, I will uh, see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are. Okay, well, that's fine. Oh, they got gold, uh, gold armor upgrade. That's pretty nice for them. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do, I'll probably end the episode here. We are about that time. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it was so terrible with the battles today. I was not fighting well at all. Ah, oh, it's an annoying one. Anyway, we're allowed to slip up every now and then anyway, aren't we? Anyway, guys, please do like, please do subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you again on the next video.